Howdy folks. Don't know why I already stole my videos in some way like this, but here we are in the woods again, vibing on this dirt path. And I was inspired to make a video about my glorious generation, <laughs> Gen Z, which clearly is the most useless, Jeffrey, brain dead, slow generation that we've had thus far. Well, maybe Gen Alpha, but that's going to be even worse with all the iPad kids. But anyway, Gen Z, what can we say? I was seeing it in the... I've literally just got off the bus and decided to take a walk to record. And you can... You can it's not even just Gen Z. You see literally everyone is on their phone, basically. You've got those few old people that are just sat staring into space, like the old married couple that the love died 40 years ago and they just sat there silently. And then you have the chuffing... <laughs> bad neck. Oh, I can't go down that way. Look at that. Chuffing death pit. Can't go down that way. But you've got the Gen Zers, the Zoomers, sat with their terrible neck thing like this. Now, we think in terms of logistics, I don't know if it's, you can refer to it as logistics, but if we think logically about the possibility of a world war, now I don't mean to scare anyone, and of course I hope there not to be a war, but it would not surprise me if we have a major war. Is that cut? Interesting. If we have a major world war in the next 10, 20 years, and that's not even the scary part. The scary part is the people, right, the youth of today that would fight in this war, Gen Z, <laughs> how we'd get destroyed, basically. All Western nations, I think, would get totally destroyed because you've got teenagers, not even just teenagers, young men and women addicted to their phones and just completely, uh, like, case in point, right? You just, let's say, I don't drink alcohol personally, and I have no interest in, like, going out to major parties and things. Also because I've never been invited. <laughs> but anyway, you've, you've got these people who are just, if you say that you don't go out drinking, don't like party, and they're like, oh, come on, why are you so boring? Something boring, like, what the hell? Like, even, even my own mother would call me boring if I didn't decide to drink. And my sister as well. Also, why has this tree got bigger balls than I do? <laughs> Crazy. But anyway, Gen Z, they're just putting so much crap. They're just so frail. Like, I see a few guys around me in the gym that would actually last more than five minutes in a world war, but everyone else like i look at people in my just look around at people in, in your workplace in your college school all the chuffing gremlins with their greasy hoodies on and it's just uh, we're screwed guys we're absolutely screwed people are putting so much crap in their bodies and just have no no respect for anything and no no goals in life well, they may have goals. Anyone can set goals. But the difference is, is that if you actually do the first step, everyone thinks that you have to... Everyone's just wanting that burst of motivation, like that you get 3 a.m. when you wake up and you're just... You're just on it and you want to change your life entirely. And you're like, yeah, tomorrow's a new day. And then you wake up and it's the same, same shit. There's a gate over here. Let's see if we can get over that. But, you know, I think genuinely, like NATO and all that, there's been talk of that Putin interview and what have you. But I think they would get kind of wrecked. Because, all right, you've got people that are in the army that must be, you know, fairly strong, fairly all right to be in the armed forces. But let's say we're running out of people and they bring in conscription. How the hell 
CCTV. Oh, I'm gonna get in trouble. How the hell are people gonna actually fare? Like, imagine you're chuffing Jeffrey friends or that guy that sits next to you who's socially awkward and you could literally snap his arms in half. Like, imagine him being next to you. You're in the trenches, right? You've been shot down and he's the guy next to you saying, don't worry guys, I, I learnt this from COD. And he just charges out and gets shot in the head instantly. Oh, it is just ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous, but there is hope. The hope is with you, my friend. Those lads on self-improvement. Now, I will say that I've been a bit confl conflicted in my mind about whether or not I would actually join a war effort because I don't know I think obviously my mother would be deeply against it what is that object see my attention span guys <laughs> no the Jeffreys have got to me um I know I've never walked in this part of the woods before and there's just random things about what is that it's like a storage thing let's go inspect I'm intrigued guys I'm intrigued if I had my glasses on, I might be able to tell what it actually is, but we're traversing, guys. This is the quest that we'll have to take, take back the motherland. But yeah, Gen Z, I think it seems that every generation since like after World War II has been a bit screwed because we've got complacent because we've been living in peacetime for so long. We've been thinking, oh, nothing can ever go wrong. There's no possibility of a war, but think again. It's, it's just so depressing, man, but we shall arrive again. Looks like someone's had a bit of a camp out. Look at this me. Someone's been cooking. What is there? I think they made a fire here or something. Got this rusty ass. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that bad boy. Damn. We've turned into detectives now. And you just got this chuffing sheet of metal. Anyway, we got sidetracked. I told you guys the attention span. It needs work, it needs work. But anyway, where was I? Gen Z, not just the men, but the women and the children too. They're all complacent and horrible. Like I said, when I was in the bus station, I saw a kid sat next to me. This fat kid, right? <laughs> I don't mean to be horrible, man, but he was just a bit of a chunky bugger. And he's just there watching, I don't know, Mr. Beast or whoever on his phone. And his mum sat next to him on his phone as well, instead of like, you know, having a conversation. Whatever happened to that? I, there's been times when I wish I was kind of born in a different generation. So I think all the elderly people that have had their time and lived in better times than this, you know. This is technically the best time to be alive because I don't have to worry about things like survival. All my ancestors had to worry about things like food and live till 30, but... It's very hard to, like, die in the modern day now if you live in a, a Western country. It's a nice... Well, it's a nice day. It is grey, but... We're trekking, folks. We're trekking. We're going. I don't know where this... Well, I think I've walked down this road before, actually, with a friend on a dog walk. All roads lead to Rome, so I'll be back with the Roman Empire. <laughs> Stay tuned for that. Oh. But even me, man. I talk about other people. This morning, set my alarm for half seven. Woke up at <laughs> woke up at nine thirty. I got out of bed at nine thirty. I was awake, but eh, ridiculous, ridiculous. I did have my cold shower this morning, so we kind of recovered. Alas. We're patrolling in the wilderness. So what do I mean by us being the only hope for Gen Z? I'm talking about the guys on self-improvement who are actually building some muscle, 
getting mentally strong as well and are willing to fight for freedom because that is the most beautiful thing that we've possessed people is freedom like think about how lucky you are it, it annoys me as well when people complain about their like nationality as well like you've got so many people who are like oh, i hate being british i hate oh i don't know, it's so lame i hate being american man now don't get me wrong what what, what we're thinking about is here is the government because obviously the governments are completely crap and don't know how to run the country but we i'm very grateful to be british i won't say proud to be british because i think it's kind of illogical to be proud because proud suggests that you've like achieved something i can be proud of my achievements i can be proud of my physique that i built because i've actually earned it but my nationality was i didn't earn it i was just it's just by chance that i happened to be born in the united kingdom so i'm grateful that i'm british because that allows me to well th just think about how crazy it is right you had a one in 400 trillion chance of being born i've kind of entered the swamp lands now <laughs> i might need to turn back yeah but you had a one in 400 trillion chance of being born which is just crazy in itself like take me for example one in 400 trillion and then the chances of me being born in the well in this galaxy well let's say it born in the a um first world country was probably big because there's lots tons of developing in third world countries as well uh, so uh, you know we've got that locked in <laughs> locked in uh <laughs> being born in the united kingdom but then i'm also born into a fairly we're not rich but we get by you know a family that can provide for me and then top that with parents that actually care for me i am just so grateful to be alive man it's so wonderful just my parents man everything they do for me it's splendid but then you have people who of course i don't know about their personal lives and things but they just complain about life so much they just complain over stupid things stuff that isn't worth complaining about like if you're complaining they complain about being sleep deprived i know a cure for that that is guaranteed to work get more sleep they complain about getting low grades they just laugh about it then get good grades start studying man it's ridiculous honestly we are gen z lads gen z's last hope i swear it all lies with us think of that when you're you know thinking about dropping the last set in the gym do at least like five more reps so that we actually have a chance Oh man, we, we're ranting, but oh, here we are. What is that? Is that a van? Is that a vehicle? I think it is. I might have to turn back. People might be doing some work down there. But yeah, some paint. I'm finding all these random things in the woods, man. It is roco loco out here. I'm also hoping on Thursday that I get better internet so I can upload this now 14 minute video. <laughs> Cause I have to do all my uploading at night, otherwise my family complains about internet shit, it's shit. Be grateful that you have internet folks, all right? The fact that you have the ability to watch this YouTube video shows that there must be at least one good thing in your life because you're able to get the wonderful knowledge that I can bestow upon you. And I'm grateful that you're listening. Oh, madre mia. See. Si. What would I do if I was in war? I feel like I'm, you ever get the feeling like when you're in the woods alone, you're sort of like the only human left. I feel like I should be holding a rifle, just like marching like this. Like. <laughs> we out in the wilderness it is lovely man which way are we heading 
Damn, scratch the pimple as well. <laughs> scratch one of my things. My forehead is proper itchy as well. I think it's more breakouts. Because yesterday I had McDonald's, guys. Because I felt bad for my mum because she didn't want to cook. So she's like, do you want to go to McDonald's? I wasn't enthused by the idea, but I tried to have the most healthy thing. Tried to ha <laughs> join the Gen Zers in their McDonald's diet. Disgusting. Tried to have the most healthy thing. I had like a chicken wrap and then a filet of fish and then of course the fries that are literally just fat just fat and carbs <laughs> uh, like think about it. if we were in war and you had the guy the chuffing fat kid next to you who eats nothing but mcdonald's and like fat five times a day and plays Fortnite. imagine he, he, he was signed to your like regiment you know you're like been enlisted you're ready for war and you've got people who are conscripted next to you who like can jog for two minutes and then be out of breath. Ah, <sighs> ridiculoso. It's so frustrating. But then again, that means you can rise to the top quicker and then find your brethren quicker. People don't look at the sky anymore either realizing how small we are and how grateful we should be for this wonderful life <sighs> the wonder of life man the wonder of life anyway i guess that's all i can say for now i appreciate you listening to my rant about the disposable one-use generation reminds me of like a, an english article that we we're reading complaining about youths and it was that sort of like upper class tone of like you know upper class middle-aged people complaining about like youths and everyone in class sort of had the vibe of like it's not that deep man it's not that deep but if you have like just degenerates on your train it's gonna ruin the vibe is that a bicycle Mm, interesting mm. but yeah we out here which way should we go There was a guy back there. <laughs> he looked a bit confused. Can we even get across that way? I don't know. Yeah, I just saw like a bike back there. <laughs> That's funny, there was a guy. Well, I could see the bike, but not the guy. And I saw him between the trees and sort of like got up and looked around me and I just walked off. Oh dear. Probably thinks I'm crazy. Can I get across here? Oh God, slippy as hell. Don't know if I can even get past. <laughs> well, I guess that's my first encounter with a civilian. I didn't know there were still people on this earth, man. Can I even get across? I don't know, I don't know. Let's try. Probably heard me ranting as well. <laughs> no worries, man. Hell, he can spread the message. Why is there buckets here? See, we found so many random things. I thought that was just an abandoned bicycle, but the light was still flashing on it. But anyway, what was I today saying? People in English class complaining about such and such articles that reveal the de de degeneracy of this modern generation regardless I felt like that person had a point in that article that they wrote that we are a single use disposable wasteful society and we brothers are the only hope we are the last stand 
we must carry on what our ancestors started and make sure we stay hard. Lost some chuffy nondies. We're finding everything in these woods today. But anyway, bro, thank you for watching. God bless. Mwah. I got this. <laughs>